Of course, we have another rainy day here on the island, but our boy KK is out here singing for us, so we're here to support him. Rain or shine. Right, guys? What's up guys, it's your favorite tour guide here, back at it again with another island tour. So today we are going to be visiting the island of Waverwald. I am praying I am pronouncing that right. I tried looking it up prior to this, so if I am still pronouncing it wrong, Google, you have failed me. This island is super unique. It is a city that has been mixed in with some nature areas. It's definitely a theme I've never seen before. This island also features a large amount of my favorite color, um, which is green. So thank you, I really appreciate that. Also, today marks the day of my one year anniversary here on YouTube. Just wanna thank you all for the love and support you guys have given me this past year. Seriously, I can't do it without you guys, so I'm really grateful for every single one of you. I'm just so happy that my videos make you guys happy and I'm able to put a smile on your guys' face. I can't believe it's been one year already. It just went by so fast. Okay, I'm kind of getting sappy and the intro's kind of getting a little long. Just make sure you grab your coffee, your tea, your snacks, whatever you got because sis, I'm about to put you on. Here is their map and dream address if you want to come visit. Ooh, we got three resident reps here, okay. My eyes went straight to that giant lake there. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see that. I also can't wait to see this neighborhood up here and see what all the villager houses look like. You know me, I love a good neighborhood. Also, I did notice that Nook's Cranny is on the beach just like our last island tour. Don't worry, this time I will remember and I will go visit. I'm just making sure all my ducks are in a row here and I know where everything is before I get started. Cause you know, your girl's always unprepared. Okay, I cannot wait to see this island so let's just jump right into it. Apologies for the background noise if you guys hear any. There's construction around my area right now and there's a gigantic truck huffing and puffing three feet away from my window. I'll try my best to block out the sound. I need to like board up my windows or something. It's so loud. Anyways, here is their entrance. Oh, and what an entrance it is. Nothing like entering an island and this is the first thing you see. But you know what? I'm here for it. And of course, here right in the front, we have a resident rep's home. But I'm not going to go in it just yet. I want to show you where resident services is first. So after crossing this really long land bridge, oh my gosh, hello. We're, we, we were a little close there. I'm a little concerned. Hopefully I don't get sick. Okay, so right in front of resident services, we have this little pond here with the tree in the middle. And we have all of these signs here telling us which area is which, which is great because your girl isn't really that good with directions. I don't know how I became the professional favorite tour guide, but you know, you gotta live like the person you wanna become, right? The creator's so generous and have left us a few gifts here. We have a bubble blower. Oh shoot, I don't know what that was. Pocketbook and a Nook ink balloon. Oh, it was vanilla soft serve, how cute. But I think I'm gonna hold the pocketbook cause you know, I have this smart vibe going on right now. I got my explorer hat on, I got my basket of grapes. I got my socks and sandals, like I'm ready to go. Also, how cute is the animation for the pocketbook? You actually turn the page and read it. I love it so much. Let's head back down this way and towards the airport again. And we saw this earlier, this is the resident rep's house. I don't know if the houses are decorated, but I'm a very nosy person and I gotta find out. What? Where are we? Well, just gotta go into a room and find out interesting so this is a bathroom slash laundry room i mean it's very pretty but i'm just very confused right now let's see what the other rooms look like okay this is a garage it looks like or is this outside like a deck or something because no way this would be in a garage right unless you're trying to hide something if you know what i mean i don't know why my tours always end up in a really dark place i need to chill on the dateline so this room might actually be a condo unit maybe it's very cute i wonder if there are more condo units well i mean i don't think there are any more condo units we only have the upstairs and downstairs left ah I see you enjoy going on island tours too. But my dream room does not look like this. <laughs> I literally have the free bed that Luna gives us and it's like smushed up against the corner in my house. <laughs> All right, last room. 
Um, I'm a little concerned. The upstairs, I guess, is the living area. You got your bathroom, you got your bedroom, you got your kitchen. But I can't imagine living above this. Do you guys want me to read you something? No, I'd rather not. I'm a horrible reader. I'm the slowest reader out there. I swear. Slowest eater, slowest reader. Okay, well, that took a dark turn. But so do all my island tours. So I feel like we're all on the same page here. Also, how long was I in there for? Is the sun setting? Here is Able Sisters. Ooh, and a free dog. If I ever find a dog or a box of puppies that is labeled free puppies, I'm taking the whole box. I'm taking the whole dog. My dream one day is to have a farm with like 20 dogs there, you know? Okay, so here is Nook's cranny tucked away right on the beach here. The little seashells and starfish match the arch here. Ooh, I really like this pattern on this hammock. Okay, let's squeeze out of here. And let's make our way up this incline. And then on the left here, it looks like we're at the campsite. Love the entrance, by the way. This is so unique. Nobody has done this for their campsite before. Wow. And this is it. Here's our campsite. The level of privacy. And you have your own walkway in there too. I mean, come on. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's go up here. Girl, if I had a net, I would catch you so fast. Make a quick couple of bills. Or bells in this case. <gasps> Stop! Are we at the neighborhood already? Oh wait, no. Look at the map. No, we're not. These are just two gorgeous houses that happen to be next to each other in this fabulous neighborhood. And it also happens that they're both home, which is fabulous for me. Oh, I love seeing Sasha. Wow, nice place you got here. Um, we got two beds here. Are you combining them to make one big bed? Or are you with child? Oh, I knew it. Sasha has a secret child. Who would have a random stroller chilling outside of their house, hmm? Someone with a secret child. Okay, let- You see? This is why I can't carry any of these items. I always mess everything up. Oh, Judy. She has a really cute house too. Oh, girl, this wardrobe. Can I borrow those pants? Okay, excuse me. Fine, if you want to be weird about it, I'll just leave. Are you stalking me? Has Chief been everywhere that we've been? There's a face I don't recognize. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Are you sure? You have been following me since I got here. Gotta say, I don't know what to make of all this dream stuff. It's all more than a bit strange. You know what is strange? You following me. Let's go see what's over here. Ooh, we have a garden. Oh, maybe I shouldn't step on it. Let's admire it from this side. Very cute, very pretty. Love the Cosmo showers. That actually comes in really handy. I always forget to water my plants. Okay, according to my map, if we go through here, that's where the neighborhood is. But I don't think we're finished in this area yet. So we'll continue frolicking around down here until, oh, it's busy here. We'll frolic around down here first until we're finished. Ooh, I love her dress. And your hat. You want to trade? Hello. And this connects us back to this incline that we came up from. I guess there's not very much to frolic around then. I don't know why, but I thought I missed a bunch of stuff. To the neighborhood. Oh my gosh, this neighborhood is fancy. I don't feel like I belong. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I need to start down here or something. I want to give you guys the full experience. Look at all of these green houses. This makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, imagine going trick-or-treating here. I would actually love to see this island during Christmas time. Ooh, this is fancy. But why the two beds? Is having two beds a requirement for this island? There seems to be a theme going on here. Also, why you gotta put your watch out like that? Are you trying to show off? We get it, you're rich. Oh, now I'm curious to see what these other two houses look like. I'll have to come back another day. Um, okay, triple bridge moment here. This area is so rich that they're telling us like, no, we don't have one bridge. We don't have two bridge, we have three bridges. We can afford three of these stone bridges. Me walking around here with my thousand, do I have a thousand? 
I have 1,109 bells, okay? Excuse me. I can buy one piece of clothing from Able Sisters, okay? And probably nothing from Nooks because everything's so expensive. This freaking inflation, I tell you. Um, is everybody rich or is this a library? Oh wait, it's a library. <laughs> but it's the fanciest library I've ever seen. Like this library even has the chairs with the cushions on it. You know, usually they're like the plastic ones that make your butt hurt after like 20 minutes. Nah, they got the fancy stuff here. Okay, let's go across this bridge. This villager unfortunately is not home, but I really like their house. I like the little cactus out in the front too. Well, it's not so little, it's like seven feet tall, but I call everything little even when it's not. Okay, let's see how rich this villager is. So rich that he has his car in his house. Oh my gosh, are you proposing? Or do you just work here? That face tells me that you work here and you're making $4 an hour. You know what, if I worked here or if I lived in this neighborhood, I would be this grumpy too. <laughs> Across the last bridge. Oh, and darn it, this villager's not home. They probably have like all their cash just laying on the floor blocks of gold and a bag of diamonds just chilling in the corner. This neighborhood is like a competition or something. Everybody has their stuff out and whoever has the most stuff out wins or whoever has the most expensive stuff. In this case, I don't think anybody could beat Marshall. That guy had a Rolls Royce and a million dollar piano out in the living room. Marshall wins. Hmm, the lights are off, but can we go inside? I wonder why the lights are off. I've never seen that before. And there's a reason why. <laughs> oh, there's no basement? The basement is the best part to a creepy house. I'm curious to see if any of the rooms are decorated. I hope it's something really creepy. Oh, <gasps> it is undecorated? Just horrid. Just absolute terror. I can't believe my eyes. The outside be looking cute though. All right. So back down this way leads us back to the diagonal neighborhood here. So let's go down. <gasps> I realize we can't go forward. So we're going to have to go backwards here. Everything is just taking a while to load. Totally normal. Happens all the time. No worries. Um. Where is the end? I feel like I'm gonna be that person that's gonna bonk my head on a lamppost or something. Okay, we should be nearing the end here. Oh, and there it is, that's the last of it. Ooh, look how cool that looks. I don't know why I decided to turn the camera like this. It's like we have vertigo or something, but this is really stunning. Okay, let's go check out what's on the right. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh, sorry, were you waiting to use that? I literally spent forever going through that. Oh, hey, this leads us back to resident services. I don't know why I had to say it like that, services. Okay, I'm thinking the next place we should check out is the museum. And it looks like we have quite a bit of a walk to get there, so grab your snacks, bestie, because we're going to get hungry. I just know it. You want to share some? You saw me whip out the ice cream and you came over right away, huh? I'll get you your own ice cream next time. This one's mine, sorry. I need all the energy that I can get for this trip we're about to go on. Not that ice cream can provide much nutrition, but it definitely helps with my mental health. Oh, no way. Stop. Not only is the decorating 10 out of 10, the waterscaping here? She heard me compliment her ass. Well, your island is stunning. Like, look at this. This looks like it's something straight out of Zelda. Also, shout out to using the white inclines. I don't feel like I see them often, maybe just on the beach, but using it for the museum, oh my god. Gosh, damn, imagine getting your fossils assessed. You literally have to make a day to come out here. Ain't no way you're gonna come all this way to get one or two fossils assessed. Girl, you better be hoarding all of those fossils. Cause this is a day trip. Ooh, I saw a ladder. No. Um, are you guys on a date? Am I ruining a special moment? So romantic. All right, let me just do a quick prayer before I spin around and look at this. I just know it's gonna blow me away. Like how? How is this even real? We are definitely not playing the same game at this point. And I'm not talking like, oh my gosh, your island is just a little bit better than mine. I'm talking like you're light years ahead of the game. Your island is basically in the year 3000 at this point. 
almost broke my neck from looking at that. Girl, you need to calm down. I don't think my benefits can cover the amount of damage that has been done, okay? Oh my gosh. Look at my poor ice cream just getting wheat all over it. This must have taken so long to do. Ooh, we have a lot of flowers here. Oh, and all the rocks are here too. Wow. This is so beautiful. I think the secret beach is on the right here. I don't know if this is the official way to get there, but we can try. Oh, that's so cute. This is also a really big rock. You can host a rave on here. Oh, here it is. And this connects up to the museum. Oh, cool. Let's head back this way. And, uh oh. Uh oh, this is a nice little area. Would definitely come here to chill, eat some snacks, maybe think about life. Let's see what's over here. We have a mini pergola tunnel. Where are we? Oh, this is a neighborhood. Okay, we just gotta head back. Nope, my heart keeps telling me to go through that pergola tunnel again. But my head says no, and we are heading back to resident services. We just have one more area to look at. Wow, all the villagers are out today. All the villagers here are so cute. Don't give me that side eye. I knew you heard me coming back to resident services. I saw you standing here waiting for me. Okay, so here is resident services. Oh, actually, before we go visit on the right there, let's check out the beach. Love the use of the Easter items here. It matches the flower wagon so perfectly. I've never seen it be used like this before, especially on the beach. Girl, yes, I am complimenting your island yet again. But seriously though, this is one of the most stunning islands I've ever seen. Okay, finally, we are making our way to this last area. Down here on the beach, it looks like this is where they grow all their vegetables. And then... Oh, I love the tiny bridge! We have a more natural area of the island now. It looks like we have a little boardwalk down here. Oh, and it leads right onto their pier. Also, I love how they replace the pier wood with more wood on top of it. I get it. Do it for the aesthetic. We have a mini farm and a fishing area. Excuse me, I'm just gonna squeeze past you here. The sass. The audacity. And here we have the last res- can I help you? Is there something in there that I'm not supposed to see? We gotta find out ourselves. Okay. Um, I see why. I don't know what Wolfgang was talking about. It wasn't that bad. I really like how this area is decorated. It's just so well put together. And I love how this transition here is so seamless, even though it's two completely different vibes. Like over on this side, it's clearly city and elegant core. But you cross this bridge. Boom, you're in the wilderness, baby. I feel like this is where it all started. Like our young lass here discovered this island right here. And then she slowly built, or you, maybe you did too. Maybe you both did. All power to you. And then they just slowly built the town towards this way. I could be completely wrong. I'm just making up stories here. But I think that is it for today's island tour. I think I got everything covered. Thank you all for joining me on this island tour today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I will have the creator's social and the dream dress link down below if you want to check it out. I'm sure I'll be back with another video real soon, so please stay tuned for that. But for now, please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, I was trying to get a thumbnail and I realized I missed something. There is a sign here and when I went to the cliff, there is a ladder, there is a lookout spot. I can't believe I missed this. Oh, and it's a view of all the rich people. Look at them, enjoying their beautiful green houses in their clean neighborhood with those three stone bridges and giant waterfalls. Oh, how I aspire to be them one day. Okay, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you guys next time.